Hi, in this video I show you how to couple an electric circuit with a physical model in COMSOL Multiphysics. First, I show you how to create and analyze a simple electric circuit in COMSOL. Uh, I introduce a very simple example. We see how to implement it and we verify the results with analytical calculation. Normally, if you only want to analyze an electric circuit, maybe you don't want to use COMSOL because there are far better software that you can use to analyze an electric circuit. But here, we want to learn how to do it in COMSOL. Anyway, we have to learn. After this, we see how to couple a physical system with an electric circuit. So why do we want to do that? Because normally, we have a physical system, for example, a coil. And this coil is connected to an electric circuit. For example, a power supply through wires, through resistors, and so on. So we want to analyze this system all together. And we want to see the interaction between them. COMSOL obviously can solve a physical system, can provide us with a solution. An external simulator can also solve an electric circuit. So one way is that we use COMSOL, solve a physical system, extract the data at each time stamp, feed it to an external simulator, and basically in this way, iteratively, we try to solve the whole system at the same time. But this requires quite some work, and maybe it's not the preferred option. COMSOL has an internal electric circuit module, which we can use to create a simple electric circuits. And obviously COMSOL has other modules to analyze physical systems. So we can couple a physical system with an electrical system that is built in COMSOL. So everything can be done within COMSOL. So I will demonstrate this with a simple problem that I designed. And we implement it and we do the analysis and we conclude. Okay, so how to create and analyze a simple electric circuit in COMSOL? Let's say we have this very basic circuit. There is a source, which is a step function. It has an internal resistance of 1 ohm. And then we connect it to a load, which is a resistor and an inductor. So the resistor is 0 0.1 ohm, inductor is 0 0.1100. We are interested to find the voltage at the output. So the assumption is that this step function is very sharp. It's really a step function at time equal to zero. It suddenly jumped from zero to one. From analytical calculation, we can easily know that uh, before time is equal to zero, there is nothing in the circuit. So everywhere is zero. So current of the inductor is zero. The current of the inductor is continuous. So at time zero plus, the current will also be zero. So when we are at T zero plus, basically there is zero current here. So there is zero voltage drop. So the total voltage here will come at the output. So V output at zero plus is one volt. At time equal to infinity, the inductor is short circuited. So basically this voltage at the output is, uh, we can use voltage division rule. So 0 0.1 ohm divided by the total resistance multiplied to the input. The input is one. So basically we get this one. And the time constant is, uh, we short circuit this. So these two add together. So it's 0 0.11 divided by 1.1, which gives us 0 0.1 second. So L divided by R. So V output will be the final value, 1 over 11 plus um, voltage at 0 plus minus the voltage at the, at the end, which is 10 over 11, multiply E power minus T over tau, which is E power minus 10 T. So this is the analytical result. We are going to implement this in COMSOL, in electric circuit module, and we compare the results with analytical calculation. Notice the node numbers that I have placed here. So here ground is zero, this is one, two, three, and then goes back to zero. Okay, so now I open console and we implement this. All right, so we click model wizard. Here it doesn't matter which dimension you select um, because we only want to make an electric circuit. But later in the second part, I want to uh, couple this electric circuit with a physical model. And that physical model will be a 2D, so I select 2D here. So the physics that we want to use is from ACDC, we select electrical circuit to the study, and then the study is time dependent. Done. OK, so as I mentioned, we don't have geometry, we don't have material. This is purely an electric circuit at this stage. And we have to construct that. So here is the electric circuit. Ground, you see that console assign it at node 0. So I'm going to create a voltage source. One side of the voltage source is connected to the ground. So the negative part is connected to ground. The positive one is node number one. And then I create a resistor. 
So one side of the resistor is connected to node 1, and the other side is connected to node 2. And then I create another resistor. OK, maybe the value of this resistor should be 1 ohm. Another resistor, node 2 to node 3, and the value is 0 0.1. And then I create an inductor. Node 3 goes to node 0 because it's connected to the ground. So our inductor was 0 0.11 Henry. So this is our circuit. Basically, we follow this numbering. Uh, so this is the ground 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 0. So regarding the voltage source, I wanted to apply a step function very fast at, this, at time zero. Here, when you apply one volt and then there is nothing, it means before there was zero and suddenly at time equal to zero, this one becomes one. So that actually represents a step function. Uh, for the time, I can select maybe up to one second is okay. So let us run it. Okay, so in the results, right click 1D, right click global from expression. We can select electric circuit, node voltages. We are interested in voltage at node 2 because here this voltage is node 2. Okay, so we can plot it. So basically, this is the results. So at beginning, this is 1 volt, which is the same as we calculated. At the end, it's 1 over 11, so you can see that this is basically below 0 0.1, which is 0 0.909, which is 1 over 11. And this is the general formula. So I can plot the general formula. You right click on 1D, another global. And then here I can put the expression 1 over 11 plus 10 over 11 multiply exponential T over ta. Ta is 0 0.1. Uh, so it becomes minus 10 times t. And basically here I can, in the legend, I can write analytical. So you observe that the simulation results with analytical results, they are matching very well. Okay, so we have learned how to create a simple electric circuit in COMSOL. Now I continue with the second part, and that is how to couple an electric circuit with a physical model. All right, so now we come to the main example. Here I have a voltage source. This is a step voltage, but it's not ideal. It goes from 0 to 1 volt within 0 0.1 microsecond. And also I put a delay, so it comes at 1 microsecond because I want to see the results before and after the step of voltage. Internal resistance is 1 ohm, and this one is connected to a copper rod with radius of 1 centimeter and length of 1 meter. This copper rod has resistance inductance, which divides into internal inductance and external inductances, and also it has capacitance to ground. Let us ignore all the external effects, like the capacitance and also external inductance. So we assume that this rod has only internal resistance and internal inductance. If we want to model this in a circuit simulator, we have to create something like this. We have to find this R and L that represent this copper rod. The problem is that this R and L, they are frequency dependent. So if I want to replace this copper rod with one R and L, I have to select one particular frequency, let's say at DC or at 1000 Hz, at 1 MHz. But then this circuit will not be exactly this reality that we have here. Especially that the voltage that we apply, this step voltage, it contains many frequencies so actually the behavior of the real copper rod versus all these frequencies it's different than the behavior of uh, this r and l that is at one fixed frequency now of course there are methods that we can replace this branch with a ladder network uh, and we have to select the parameter of that ladder network such that at any frequency it produces the same response as this copper rod but that one is beyond the scope of this video so i'm not going to go through that the idea is that we want to really model this as a frequency dependent model. And then we see how the system will respond versus the input that we have here. 
All right, so now I will show you how uh, to model this in magnetic field model, and then we connect it to an electric circuit, and we see what will be the output of this example. In a future video, I will show you the comparison between frequency-dependent model and response of a system at a fixed frequency, and then we understand why it's important to consider full frequency-dependent model. Okay, so I have console open, model wizard. Here I select 2D because the magnetic field model that I'm going to make is in 2D. On ACDC, you click, click on electromagnetic fields, magnetic fields. So this is one physic. And also we're going to select electric circuit, study, we select time dependent. Done. All right, so I create a conductor, right click here, a circle, radius of one centimeter. So this is our conductor, the length of it is one meter. For material, right click, blank material, and I give parameter of copper, permeability one, epsilon one, conductivity 5.87, e power seven. Okay, so in magnetic field, right click, create a coil, and this one becomes a coil. Now here, Normally, if you want to analyze this, you apply one amp to this coil and basically do the analysis. But in this case, we have to select external circuit. So I select, for example, circuit voltage. And now in electric circuit, we are going to create this voltage. Now I click in electric circuit. So this is the ground. Okay. I right click a voltage source. So the ground of voltage source is connected to the ground. The positive side is node number one. Here, the value of this, I will change it later. And then I create a resistor. So positive side is connected to one. The other side is two. And the value of this resistor is one ohm. Okay, and then right click on circuit. Here is external coupling. We have U versus I, I versus U. In this case, you notice that in the coil, also we had two options. We could select the um, circuit voltage or circuit current. So one of them is representing U versus I, one of them I versus U. In this case, in the coupling, we have to select U versus I. And then here we click and we select coil current. And this one should be node number two and node number zero because this resistor comes to node number two, and then here we have this copper rod from two to zero. Okay, so I do a mesh, a good mesh, because that step function has high frequency, so I'm going to also add a boundary layer, and select all the boundaries. We apply boundary mesh. I have to also create the step, so we notice that on the boundary we have many meshes because the frequency is going to be very high and then the current will flow on the surface of these conductors so we have to be able to catch that all right so now for this step we have to come to definition right click function step okay so location i put it at one microsecond it goes from zero to one and then the transition is within a tenth of a microsecond so if i plot this you notice that this is our step. And this one is a step one, the name is a step one. Basically in here, in the voltage source in circuit, we have to write that one, a step one. And of course it's dependent to time. All right, so for the simulation time, we select uh, maybe 10 nanosecond. These are the steps, and then we are going to model it for three microseconds. All right, so let us run this. Basically, in this case, we created a physical model, we created a circuit, and these two are interacting with each other through external coupling, and here excitation is from external circuit. Okay, so the simulation is now done. We can right-click on results, create a 1D plot, right-click, global, here, for example, we can select study one, and then 
you can click electric circuit voltage node voltage node 2 is the same as uh, voltage across the rod so we are going to plot it over time so basically here is the results so at beginning is zero when the step comes it goes up and then it comes down when the voltage stays at dc after the step we have only a very small resistance and so the voltage would decay and eventually goes to a very small value basically the resistance of that rod divided by one plus the resistance of that rod multiplied by one which is very close to zero and uh, because the internal inductance of the rod is very small also we don't have much of a peak so the peak is also almost 0 0.01 so it's very small okay so this is basically how you can couple an electric circuit with a physical model as i said in the next video we will compare these results with the result at a fixed frequency maybe at dc and also at uh, let's say 10 megahertz and we see that these results will be different than any of those all right so that's all for this video see you next time bye